Well, hey y'all, it is time for another video. Today, what we're gonna get into is a little after Christmas, but some Christmas related haul video for y'all. I went to Hobby Lobby. They were having a huge sale where like most of the stuff was 90% off. So I got lots of goodies there. This bag here, y'all might be wondering, I sometimes do this when I go to the Dollar Tree and I find these bags that I think are cute. I take the little thingy off and I tell them to zap it and then put my things that I'm buying inside the reusable bag and I just couldn't resist this cute Mickey bag. So that's what's in there, stuff from Dollar Tree. And I did manage to get some stuff from Walmart here on clearance after Christmas. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna just take these bags, move them out of the way and then just get on into all this dolly loveliness after Christmas sales. First, I'm gonna show you what I got from Walmart because I didn't get as much from there. So I was able to snag some more of these adorable little sweater things that I turned into dresses and whatnot for the dollies. If you saw that video, this is one of the ones that was my favorite and I did not have it in this red and black check colorway, which I thought was awesome. And now y'all can see what I was talking about, how it was like stuck to the front and I had already removed that. You know, you take the nozzle of the hot glue gun and you kind of like press it there because it's warm and it releases the glue. So that's what you do. And then the little clippy on the back, I take that off as well. And then I make it into little outfits for the dollies. I also found this one, which is so super cute. I love the brown fur with this little plaid patterning in the red, super, super cute. Love this, can't wait to turn these into like dolly clothes for the dollies, so adorbs. And then I found this one. It's covered in like fuzzes and things from that section, you know, because there's sparkles and everything and they just throw them in those bins. But I love this one. One. This one, I'm not sure, but this one might be my favorite. I love the velvet blue at the top here and at the cuffs and everything. It has the little thing on the back that you have to get rid of. And then what I did in the video was like go up the arms and then sew down so that it fits them better. But these are so cute and they're so well made. Look at that. They're even like lined and stuff underneath there. So I love these. I can't wait to turn these into little sweaters and dresses for the dollies for next year. Then I found these little hats that I had not seen at all. Now they are quite big but I know that some of y'all out there are like Blythe collectors and whatnot, and I think this would be perfect for those because they have the bigger heads, you know, for Christmas time. But for my purposes, I got this one and this one. I thought, I haven't done this yet, but I was just testing like how I would do it, that I could fold it up like this to make it shorter, and they were 98 cents. Of course, I would do it more evenly. This I just did to test, and then maybe do something here like that, like a pinch pleat on the side to take it in to make it smaller on both sides. And then if you did that on both sides, if I can do this in front of the camera, it would be small enough for like a Barbie or you know a rainbow high or something because then the hole would still be there if you did that. So we're gonna work on those, you know, not right away because we just did all that stuff for Christmas, but you know, maybe next year we'll get into that. So that's why I bought these two cute little hats. I just thought they were adorable. And you could just cut this little string off, no problem. And it's basically all done. You just have to do a little, you know, maneuvering, sewing, gluing, however you wanna do it to make them fit your dollies. And then I found these and yes, all three of them were there. I didn't, you know, get cheated one. I have already taken it and used it. What I did was, is I took this clip off and then I pushed in underneath here because it's kind of foamy like made like a dent an upper dent and then I put a string around it so that I could make it a hat for the Barbies. Now, if you remember, if you watched my video where I did turn the stuff in to outfits for the dolls, there was one that was black and white checked that I put on a Model Muse body lady. This hat I have fashioned for that doll and I'll show it to you in a later video, but that's what I did with these. I thought these were super cute. They had more than just this style, but I only grabbed this style because I wasn't sure about the other ones and I knew that I had the outfit that matched this one and I wanted to see how cute it looked together and it looks awesome. So I'll show you guys that in a near future video like I said I've got a lot of little stuff that I've been working on behind the scenes that I didn't get to show y'all and I'm gonna do a video on that and show it all to you so yay for that and last from Walmart but certainly not least I know like I needed more fashions right I am so far behind on giving y'all a fashion show we are gonna have one big old fashion show I'm probably gonna have to have two to put in everything that I've got, but this is gonna go with that. I couldn't resist this. I love the little daisies, and these are usually like 10 bucks, and I think this was on sale for $6 when me and mom went, so I got this fashion pack for $6, which I didn't think was bad. Like if you wanna count just the dress as an outfit, and then this, because this doesn't have a top, if you put this top with this, that would be two complete outfits with the accessories, so each outfit cost about $3. I fell in love with the daisies, and I liked this over sheer thing in pink, pinky pink, with the daisies, and I thought that the little yellow top would look cute under that with these little 
think it's shorts. Yeah, these little shorts. So yay for that. Loving that. Love me some Dolly Fashion. Sorry, y'all. I missed some things that I got from Walmart. They fell out of the bag because I had combined two bags together. This is another one of these sweaters. I already redid this one. You guys probably saw it in the video. So I'm not going to do a lot of talking about it, but I did pick up a second one because I just thought it was super cute. And then I got these in pink, pinky pink. I just thought these were so cute, especially this one. This one's my favorite. A little reindeer face with the palm ball, but they're all in my little soft pinky pink colorway. Look at these guys. These are absolutely perfect for wall art decoration for a dolly diorama. They are the perfect size. They have the little wood frame. They look exactly like some of the stuff that we would have in our houses for the dollies. So I just had to grab this. It is so cute and I can't wait to make a dolly diorama where I can hang these someday in my little Christmas setup. So yay for that. Okay, now I'm gonna show you what I got from Dollar Tree because I only got like a medium amount from there. First thing I picked up was this and it's just to try as an experiment. When I saw it, I thought I could totally turn this into a dress or something of the like for the dollies. Plus it already has a made Christmas Santa hat that is what looks to me to be the perfect size for the dollies. This would be a fun option for y'all that can't sew. You know, you could just tack down the little hat things. I don't like it sticking up, but you can do it however you want with a little glue. And then I'm gonna definitely do this for y'all and make it a tutorial to show you how I turn this into like a gown or something for the dolls because I just think that would be such a cool idea. Then I grabbed this ribbon, like I need more ribbon, right? But I just thought it was so super cute. I love the vintage little truck with the checkered pattern and the trees and the snowflake. And last year I did some outfits out of ribbon. You guys can do that. You can take ribbon like this, even if it had a metal edge, you can peel the metal edge out or cut it off, however you want to do it. And then use the fabric that they use for the ribbon as outfits for the dolls because the dolls are so small it's a perfect scale so I like doing that I picked this up for I don't know what I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it is what I mean but I thought it was super cute and I had to share it with y'all then I grabbed these two cute little cobblestone corner winter village things I thought the Santa was adorable as a little Santa male and the snowman I thought these would be really cute like if you did a dolly diorama and you had a little house set up maybe for like a mantle or on like a coffee table or a side table type thing for decoration same with this I love the little elves they're so cute and the little bridge and it's all decorated in Christmas style so I just couldn't resist these and they only had like two of these and they were both all beat up like this that's why the packaging is all weird but I just thought these were super cute and would make great miniatures for the dollies at Christmas time they also had out a bunch of these new garden fairy figure things which I just could not resist look at this y'all this looks like potatoes in here this is corn in here not exactly sure what's supposed to be in here I think these are supposed to be tomatoes but I'm not sure what this is supposed to be but just look at the details on this stuff. Look at the little baskets and how it's done. Some of the painting isn't perfect, but this corn looks really good. But like these, I could touch up the paint on these really good. And these would be awesome for your dollies, y'all. I just, I can't get over how cute these are. Look at this with a little 10 cent carrot fence thing going on and the little thing with the carrot that says welcome super super cute and then this one with a little hedgehog I think that's a hedgehog right with the apples and it says fresh here and the little buckets with it I just think these would be awesome for your dolls for dioramas and then these I could not resist you know for like little yard gnomes for your doll if you ever make a little diorama so I had to grab all these cute little miniatures for my dollies just so someday when I get around to making my diorama I'll have cute stuff to add and then I went through the toy section and I found these. These are so cute. I love Stitch. If y'all don't know that about me, I absolutely love Stitch. Obsessed with Stitch. He is so cute. There are five designs and I only could find four of them, but they are just so adorable. I love the little pinky pink float he has in this one. And then this one, he's got his eyes closed and he's holding the present. How cute is that? Love, love, love. And then this one, he's just sitting like daydreaming with his hands on his little chin. So, so cute. And then and lastly, I got this one where he's waving, hey y'all, super, super cute. So the only one I'm missing is I believe this one here where he's holding like a frog or something. I'm not sure exactly, but they are so cute. And I'd never seen these at Dollar Tree, so I just had to grab them. And then from the toy section, I found this girl. If y'all remember, I only got the three and she was the one I was missing. And this store, it was a different Dollar Tree, had this one. Now I didn't last time, I was so excited that I didn't show you the little bio that they have. I'm not gonna read it, but if you want to, you can pause and read it. I think her name is Aya is how you pronounce that. And I'm just gonna bust her out of here so we can look at her. 
together. Here she is. The packaging was giving me trouble and I just didn't want to struggle with it in front of the camera. So here she is. Has the same movement that the other ones had. Love that. Love that it has the removable shoes. Love these little dolls. I know that they aren't like the best, but I just really love them. I don't know why. They're just so super cute to me. Look at the little face. Isn't she adorable? She, like I said, was the only one I was missing. So now I have them all four. But some of y'all have told me that they have fashions and like a little closet, which I have not seen at any of my Dollar Trees. And there's a lot in this area. I frequent them, you know, not all the time. Like once a month I'll go, maybe twice a month. And I go to a different one each time. So I like to see what they have. But these are just so cute. So if you're looking for these, check your Dollar Trees, y'all. Because these are super cute. And I love them. Now I'm gonna show you all the good stuff I got from Hobby Lobby. Okay, so Hobby Lobby was running a sale, 90% off everything that was Christmas. Everything I bought, there was some stuff that wasn't Christmas that was on sale and other stuff that wasn't on sale. But for everything collectively that I got, it was $46.01. And, and I got some really good stuff. I got a great big, huge Grinch pillow that was like $50 to begin with that I got for $5 after the sale. And then I also got another Grinch pillow that was of max and that one was pretty expensive and I got a really pretty almost $50 tree skirt for like $4 because it was like 47 something so it was 470 so crazy insane sales but the stuff that I'm going to show you is this these two cute adorable little kind of like elf on the shelves I don't know if they're exactly elf on the shelves because they're not marked elf on the shelf but they resemble elf on a shelf and this one has a little bell super super cute I loved that this one looked like he was like going hunting and then this one was full on elfy so I just thought these were super cute and they were $12.99 to begin with so they were like what a dollar thirty that is insane and they're so so cute then I got these little like reindeer ornaments made out of this like funny velvety stuff I know they're a little odd looking but they look vintage to me and I am all about the vintage I love weird vintage stuff so I just couldn't resist them I had to grab them I think they were like what 70 cents you know because they're 90% off and they were $6.99 so these are adorable and I'm gonna be adding these to my Christmas tree decor for next year then I got these not exactly sure what I'm gonna do with them but these were 30 cents a pack for these little gift tags I thought these would be cute to do little things for a diorama for the dolls or just use them as gift tags who knows couldn't resist these little brown tags because they're so adorable and then I got one each of these. These ended up being 60 cents. They're little like ribbons. And I thought, you know, I could use those as accents on dolly clothing. Who knows? This one is iridescent and so cool. This one is gold with like, you know, the mesh on the inside and then the gold leafing on the edge. And this one is just straight red ribbon, but I just couldn't resist, you know, 60 cents for these. They're already tied. And I thought if I needed to, I could use them as ornament hangers or I could just use them some way in dolly crafts. So I just had to pick them up because they were so super cheap. Then I found these. These are adorable. I don't know how well the colorway is coming across, but it's like a brownish pinkish color and they are snowflakes. They're supposed to be ornaments for a little tree, but you can use them for whatever you want. And with them only being 79 cents, technically, I just thought I could do tons of cool things with these for the dollies for next year or just whenever. Accents, who knows? Love me some miniatures for the dollies. Then I got these pink, pinky pink candy canes. Now I already last year did buy some of these for my pink tree that I made, but I only got like one or two packs because, you know, they were probably half off then. Sometimes they'll do half off for Christmas, but these ended up being 30 cents or 29 cents, however you want to look at it. So I got all three packs of these for less than a dollar. I just couldn't resist because they're pink, obviously. And I thought that I could do cool stuff with them, like put them in some of the stockings that I made or what have you. So I just had to grab them. Then I got these sparkly red reindeer. They had other colorways, but this one just spoke to me the most. I don't know why. I think they are super adorable. They're supposed to be ornaments, but again, you can use them for whatever you want. And they were 59 cents. You can't go wrong with that. There is 10 in here. So, you know, they're pennies on the dollar. So I just had to grab these for, like I said, next year or whatever I want to do with them. You know, you could make like a little thing for the yard. Like if you put them on like sticks, you could make like three, like they're flying and then put a little Santa sleigh. There's so many cute things you could do. So I just had to grab them. And I got these pieces of felt. These weren't on sale, but the pink ones were only a quarter and this one was 39 cents. This is for a craft that I'm going to show you later on, but these, I just, I have something in mind that I want to make and I'm not sure about it yet. So I had to grab these because I want those for that project. And then this one, I know I've shown you or told you in the past that I fix the dolls necks when they have the cracked necks with felt and super glue. So I bought this. Now I know it looks like it might be a way light tone or an off tone. 
for the dollies, but when you put the super glue on it, it turns it a lot darker. So I thought this peachy kind of cream color would work. I have some brown and I have a couple other colors. So we're gonna try that when I find some more crack neck ladies. And I'm gonna show you my technique that I do for fixing that. So that's what I bought this for. And then y'all know me, if you've watched any of my videos, I had to check out the sewing section and they had all this type, Sewology or Sewology. Anything that was from like 249 to 349 was 99 cents a spool. So I got all these fancy spools. I got the pink, of course, because I love pink. Then I got the brown because I'm working on some things. I'll show you later, no spoiler. And then these colors are just like my favorite colors, this mint and this pink. And then I just really like this lilac color. And then these fancy ones, I thought that I could do something cool with it. Don't know exactly what I'm gonna do, but I can always use thread for a million different things. So I had to grab these because they were only 99 cents each. And then I found this adorable. Pokemon fabric with Pikachu, Pika, Pika, Pikachu. He's so cute and I love Pika. I love Pokemon if you don't know. I don't know all the stuff about it. I don't really watch all the cartoons or anything. I've seen some of them. I don't know all the details. I just think Pikachu is absolutely adorably cute. So I have a lot of plushes of him. So, so cute and all these other little characters. I think this one's Squirtle. They're just, they're so cute. Look how happy he looks there. Oh my goodness. I know this is big for the dolls, but I thought maybe I can make some pillows for my dollies. You know if they're like fangirls of this or whatnot. And it was on sale like 75% off. So for this yard of fabric, I paid $3. So I didn't think that was a bad deal. And y'all know me, I'm a fabricaholic and I just had to grab it. Then I grabbed these pink little palms. They weren't on sale. I used almost all my miniature pink palms on other things. So I just wanted a lot of these because, you know, me and my pink, pinkaholic self had to grab them just for someday to add to my craft pile. And then I went over to the dollhouse miniatures and I found these little gingerbread men. Now these weren't on sale either. I just could not resist these. These are so, so adorable. I just noticed that this one says 99 cents and this one says 249. So I'm curious to see what they charged me. I do have my receipt, so I'll check that out. But anyway, I just grabbed them because I thought they were so stinking adorable and I was gonna make some this year. I just didn't get around to it. I didn't have time. Now I thought, well, with these being so cheap, I don't have to and I can do cute little kitchen diorama things where it looks like they're baking cookies. And then I know it's crazy. Christmas is just over. It's just the new year and they already had their Valentine stuff out, but their Valentine stuff was like 40 or 60% off already. When I went to check the stuff out, it was the first week of the year. So I don't know why the stuff that is Valentine's was already on sale, but it was. And I just thought these little gnomes that were with the hearts and everything were so super cute. Like I said, if I ever get around to making my diorama, these will go in the yard at Valentine's. And lastly, I grabbed these again. I know it's crazy Valentine's stuff already, but I just couldn't resist these like I said, because they were having 40 or 60% off of all their Valentine stuff. And I love this old vintage kitschy looking stuff. Like these are replicas of Valentine cards from back in the day. And I just think these are so super cute. Love these. If I ever find some of these at like an antique place, I'll probably do the same thing and turn them into like little hangings or whatever, or make something out of them because they're just so cute. And I absolutely love them. Okay, y'all, I don't know where my brain is today, but I also got these. I had put these to the side. So I had my bag and then I put these to the side so I'd miss them. But I also got these. These were part of the 90% off, so they were 49 cents each for these really pretty lace panel things that go across like a side table or a coffee table or down the center of your regular table. And I got them to cut up and make cool dolly stuff with. You could make a veil on a wedding gown out of this. This stuff is really pretty y'all and really nicely made. So I just had to grab it because you know, for the fabric quality alone, it's worth the 50 cents for all that you get. I can make tons of dolly stuff out of this. Well y'all, I hope you enjoyed my multi-store after Christmas, Christmas haul and seeing all the dolly craziness I got up to with all the stuff that I bought. I have to thank you for being with me and for watching. As always, I hope everybody watching is well, happy, and safe, having a great, great dolly day, and that all the good, best things that are in this life that can come to you, I honestly, truly hope that they will. I have to say, great, big, huge, 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 lovely subscriber love to all you wonderful, lovely subscribers. I cannot say enough how wonderful you are, how much I appreciate y'all, how great you are, all the good words, all the good things. Thank you, thank you so much for literally everything that y'all do, the likes, the comments, they help sharing. Everything helps get us out there so that we can have more people join our Great Big Dolly Barbie YouTube family we have built. I try to create a safe dolly space, a loving, happy, fun dolly space for y'all.
y'all where you can come no matter what you're into and share with us and have some fun. If you haven't subscribed yet, I don't know what you're waiting for. Come on y'all, come join us in our crazy dolly silliness, our wackiness that we get up to here. Come join our ever expanding Great Big Dolly Barbie YouTube family we have built where we do fun dolly stuff, all kinds of dolly silliness and loveliness and dolly goodness. So if you want to see what dolly silliness, craziness and loveliness we get up to, come along, join us, see what we're all about here. Become part of the great big dolly Barbie YouTube family we have built because we would love to have you and absolutely everyone is always welcome here. Well y'all we did it. We made it through this multi haul of after Christmas sale stuff and some Valentine's too. So you know what I'm going to say. Bye, y'all.